Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to do a question from Accounts Paper 3, Variant 31, May June 2019, Question 3 based on consignment accounting. The question states that Ahmed runs a manufacturing business in Singapore producing computer screens. For the year until 31st December 2017, his cost of production per screen was $80 and he operated on a margin of 30%. For the end of 31st December 2018, he sent 500 screens to his friend, Rohan, who is a retailer in India. The transfer value agreed between the friends was 10% less than the standard selling price. In the ebit of the question, we are asked to calculate the unit value at which the screens are transferred from Singapore to India. So the unit value which is given here is 10% less than the standard selling price. So for this, we need to first find out the standard selling price. And the other information which is provided here is the cost of production per screen is $80 and he operate on the margin of 20%. We know the formula that selling price is equal to cost plus profit. So if we take selling price as 100%, we know the profit margin is 20%. So the cost will be 80%. Now using this, if we say that cost is equal to 80%, which is equal to $80, selling price which is equal to 100%, how much? And if we cross multiply this, we take selling price is equal to $80 times 100 divided by 80. We get the value of selling price as $100. We also know that 10% it should be the transfer value should be 10% less than the standard selling price. So 10% of $100 will be $10. We will subtract that from $100. We get $90 as the unit value at which the screens are transferred from Singapore to India. Furthermore, additional information is provided the following related to the year ended 31st December 2018. First, Ahmed's opening bank balance was 55000 and the closing balance was $94,000. This bank account was only used for the consignment. Second, Ahmed paid transportation cost of $1,000. Third, Rohan sold all the screens at a markup of 60%. Fourth, customs duty of 5% was paid by Rohan. Fifth, Rohan earned a commission of 5% on all the sales. Rohan made a remittance to Ahmed. In the bit of the question, we are asked to make all the accounts in the book of Ahmed. The first account which we need to make is a summarized bank account showing the entries related to the consignment. Bank account is an assets account and the rules are increase in the value of assets that is the receipts are debited and the decrease in the value of assets that is payments are credited. Furthermore, the opening balance of assets account is always debited. Hence, here the opening balance, which was 55,000, is debited as balance brought down 55,000 and the closing balance is credited as $94,000. Let's see what other information is provided. Here it is mentioned Ahmed paid transportation cost of 1,000. As it is a payment, it needs to be credited as it reduces the value of asset. Hence, I have credited here stating consignment that is the transportation cost of $1,000. As this is credited here in the consignment account, this value will be debited to complete the double entry for this transaction. Furthermore, here what else is mentioned? Rohan made a remittance to Ahmad. That is, Rohan paid the money to Ahmad. And as this is a receipt, Hence, it is debited and we don't know the value. To get this value, we are going to find the balancing figure. That is, first we are going to add this 94,000 plus 1,000 which will be 95,000. From there, we are going to subtract this 55,000. We get the balancing value as 40,000 and this is the amount which is remitted by Rohan to Ahmad and as it is the receipt, hence it is debited here. However, when we are going to make the Rohan's account, there it will be credited to complete the double entry for this transaction. Afterwards, we are going to bring down the balance for the next accounting period which will be the closing balance of this accounting period. With this, we have completed the bank account. In the second bit of the question, we are asked to make the consignment account. Before making the consignment account, let's do the calculation for rest of the information provided in our working notes. We will start with Rohan sold all the screens at a markup of 60%. To get this markup, first we need to know the cost. In the ebit of the question, it was mentioned that 500 screens were sent from Ahmad to Rohan and it was sent at a unit value of $90. So the cost of consignment will be 500 times $90 which will be $45,000. And on this, a 60% markup is earned. That is 45,000 times 60% will be 
$27,000. With this information, we can also calculate the sales revenue which is equal to cost plus profit and it will be $45,000 plus $27,000 which will be $72,000. Next, the information is given about the customs duty of 5% which was paid by Rohan. So, this custom duty will be paid on the cost of consignment which is $45,000. Times 5%, the custom duty will be $2,250. Then it was also mentioned that Rohan earned a commission of 5% on sales. So, this 5% will be on the sales revenue and we have calculated sales revenue as $72,000. So, it will be $72,000 times 5% which will be equal to $3,600. Consignment account we are going to make now and this is same as profit and loss account. It is a nominal account. Rules are debit all the expenses, credit all the incomes and gains. And the income which we have here is the sales revenue. So, we are going to mention Rohan sales revenue which was calculated in the first working notes as $72,000. And in Rohan's account, this will be debited to complete the double entry for this transaction. Then, all the expenses which have incurred because of consignment that is the cost of goods which was sent on the consignment, the value which was calculated in the first working notes is $45,000. We are going to mention that here. And then, in the bank account, we have already mentioned the transportation cost there. It was credited there and it is debited here. So, the double entry for this transaction is completed. Next, Rohan paid the customs duty and as it is an expense, it is debited. And we are going to mention here the Rohan customs duty amount paid was $2,250 on the debit side. And in Rohan's account, this will be credited to complete the double entry for this transaction. Then, Rohan earned a commission of $3,600. Again, this is an expense for Ahmad, hence it is debited here in his books. But when we make the Rohan's account, it will be credited there to complete the double entry for this transaction. And then after that, what we are going to do is we are going to take the income that is $72,000, which is our sales revenue. And from there, we are going to subtract all the expenses that is $45,000, $1,000, $2,250 and $3,600. We get a balancing figure as $20,150 which is the profit from the consignment and this will be transferred to the income statement. With this we have completed the consignment account. In the third part of the question we are asked to make an account for Rohan. As we have already made the bank account and the consignment account we will complete the double entries and with that we will complete Rohan's account. In uh, consignment account the custom duty and the commission was debited there and we are crediting it here hence we complete the double entry for these transaction then in the bank account the remittance which was paid by Rohan was debited and now we are crediting it hence the double entry for this transaction is completed as well furthermore there was a sales revenue which was credited in the consignment account now we are debiting it in the Rohan account to complete the double entry for this transaction. After that, we will balance this by taking $72,000. From there, we are going to subtract $2,250, $3,600, dollars and $40,000. We get a balancing figure of $26,150. And this is a balance which is still due to be paid by Rohan to Ahmad. And hence, we complete Rohan's account by bringing down this balance of $26,150 in the next accounting period in which Rohan is still a debtor to Ahmad. With this, we complete the account for Rohan. Next, we have additional information which states that demand for Ahmad's screen is increasing. However, he is unable to increase the production. Rohan wishes to continue selling Ahmad's computer screen in India for the end of 31st December 2019. In the C bit of the question, we are asked to advise whether Ahmad should or should not continue the consignment arrangement with Rohan and justify your answer using relevant calculation and reference to non-financial factor. In the answer, I have stated that Ahmad should continue with the consignment arrangement which he had made with Rohan. I have justified this with financial and non-financial factors. In the financial factor, I have stated that Ahmad is making a profit of $20 for one screen in the home market. So, for 500 screens, he is going to make a profit of $10,000. Whereas, when he is taking up the consignment, he is getting a profit for one screen as $40.30. How I got this? I took the consignment profit which we got in the B bit of the question when we made the consignment account. $20,150 divided by 500 
screens we get the value as forty dollars thirty cents and when we compare this with the profit he is making at home market that is twenty dollars he is earning an extra profit of twenty dollars thirty cents for one screen and for five hundred screens he is going to earn an extra profit of ten thousand one fifty dollars with the consignment furthermore when he was uh, transferring the goods to rohan on consignment he did at a transfer value of ninety dollars, whereas the cost of making one screen was eighty dollars. So he is earning a profit of ten dollars there as well. So for five hundred screens, it will be five thousand dollars. So when he is taking up the consignment, he is earning fifteen thousand one fifty dollars more than what he is earning in the home market, as it is more profitable. Hence, Emma should take up the agreement of consignment with Rohan. Furthermore, for non-financial factors, I have stated that Ahmed and Rohan are both friends. Hence, they have more trust. So, it will be easy for them to take all the decisions related to the consignment. Furthermore, Rohan is having more knowledge of the overseas market as he was able to sell the screens at a markup of 60%. And this knowledge can be beneficial both for Rohan as well as Ahmed. Rohan can earn commission and Ahmed can earn more profit. So it will be a mutual gain. Then Ahmed can negotiate more with Rohan and lower his commission or he can find different ways in which he can reduce the transportation cost with which he can have more profit. Furthermore, the demand of the screens in the home market may reach a saturation point and because of this, he is uh, demand for screens may start declining so it's always better to explore new markets where the uh, demand is in a growth phase which can increase the profit in future as well hence emma should go with the consignment arrangement which he have with rohan with this we have completed this question thanks for watching my videos and have a great life